All right, everybody, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back. Happy holidays. Yes, yes, yes. I hope you guys are enjoying your holidays just like I am. All right. Now, for this video, I will be taking a bit of a laid back approach and I will not be on camera, but that doesn't stop me from bringing you the alpha. So today I'll be going over multiple crypto related projects that I think you should have on your radar. Most of them are gaming related. So without further ado, let's get right into it. So first up, we have Zai. Now, if you miss Beam and you miss Myria and you miss playable games, you might want to check out Zai. All right. Now, what exactly is Zai? Now, Zai is an Arbitrum based layer three wallet and gas subsidized blockchain infrastructure for Web3 games. Right. So this project is mainly focusing on the Asian markets, which is a very, very large gaming market. And I think that because of that, this project has massive potential. All right. Now, as I mentioned before, if you guys did miss Myria and, uh, you know, playable games and Beam, more specifically Myria and Beam, uh, this could be your second chance. Now, if you check out their website, you can see they've got backers from uh, Animoca Brands to CMS and some other notable investors. Now, I think you should have this one on your radar. If not, even set up your own Xi node. Now, if you come to the website, you can see there's instructions on how to set up a node for Windows, Mac OS, and Ubuntu. All right. So what some people do is they'll they'll set up a virtual private server in the cloud and they'll purchase a license for their node and then they'll they'll be up and running earning Xi tokens. All right. So I don't have any ETA on the token drop. All right. If you guys know, maybe drop it in the comments. All right. But this is definitely one on my radar and I may even set up a node myself. Now, uh, one of my Patreon members did actually put this back on my radar. Shouts out to them. All right. Um, I do think that there is potential for this project. All right. And I think it's one you should have on your radar and keep it on your radar. All right. Because I've been looking for what the next big gaming studio would be and what chain that might exist on and i think it makes sense for there to be a myria or a beam equivalent on arbitrum it just makes sense all right so keep an eye out for xi and also set up a xi node if you are interested all right now moving on to crixivia now crixivia is one that i've been watching for a while and I remember when they dropped at the end of last bull run and I just kind of kept it on my watch list and I kind of just waited until there was a good, uh, you know, risk to reward as far as investing. Now, Crixivia is a fantasy 3D MMORPG that is playable on any modern browser. All right. So you can play this game in your browser directly available on their website at crixivia.io a whole ecosystem awaiting new adventurous players to collect crixit which is their token so they say in our world prepare yourself to earn cryptocurrency and unique rare nfts while having a fun and cooperative experience with your friends so you can build your own character fight in dungeons against bosses stake your currency in the bank loot from farming special items cast spells contained from magic gems named Crixit that can be linked to your items for accessibility so if you go through the website it's a really nice website there's a lot of thought that has gone into this particular project all right so you know you guys check out this 
this uh this project if you're interested in individual games because i think at some point the trend to invest into actual uh games is going to come back all right and i do like that the team is doxed all right the team is doxed okay so you can see all the members of their team you guys can check this out when you get more time and you just never know uh these projects you know sometimes they can tend to uh have a redirection or change up their business model maybe they become more of a uh platform which seems to be the trend now crick civia did have a public sale on bull perks starter and engine starter some of the notable investors include DCT Capital, Evers Capital, Pools Ventures, and Unicrypt. Now let's get into the price action. And you've got uh, a fully diluted evaluation of 1 million, all right? So this token came out January 2022, so at the end of last bull run, and it's just been down, down, down ever since, all right? So in the past 90 days, it has had some price action uh, as, as it has doubled, all right? So it has doubled. So somebody bought the dip before the market started to uh, turn around and flip bullish. So it looks like people kind of aped in and, and bought that dip. But you can see their Twitter, they're still very, very active, all right? Well, I can see posts from December, put it that way. So this project appears to be very much active. And I did notice something on the 20th where they say that they forged partnerships with Immutable X, Myria, Fractal, and game swift so if you're in the gaming space you know those three projects they're kind of a big deal okay so this might be one that you want to keep an eye on all right crixivia you can grab it from maxi and was that kucoin yeah it's also on kucoin if i'm not mistaken no 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 just maxi and bitmart okay so that is Crixivia, check it out. You might want to uh, grab it before it breaks the million dollar market cap. All right. Yeah, that's Crixivia. All right, guys, moving on. Next up, we have Infinity Games. Now, I've been following Infinity Games for a while, and I was just waiting for the price to get to a point where I really wanted to take the risk on another gaming studio slash chain you know something like a, the next myria or next beam all right but the markets are you know kind of overlooking it <clears throat> and i think right now it's at a good price straighten it around 0. 0.004 all right but let's get into what they're all about all right now infinity games is a multi-game platform all right now they're planning to expand their ecosystem and maximize the utility of their ing token by launching various games as well as infinity angel which is kind of what they started out as and i remember them well i remember this token uh tied to this game infinity angel but now they're a full-blown gaming platform all right Kind of like your Maria or your playable games, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. Now, Angel Box and Angel NFTs, the costume box, costume NFTs, the minion box and minion NFTs, which were limited to the Infinity Angel game, which will, will eventually be swapped to the Infinity Games node through additional ING tokens or through a swap with ISG. The ING and the ISG tokens can also be made available for purchase of Infinity Games nodes. OK, so these guys have nodes. All right. This is a multi chain gaming platform. 
All right, you can see BNB Chain, Ethereum, Polygon, Clayton, and Avalanche, all right? Now, at some point, if you guys want, I'll do more of a deep dive into the gaming nodes, but you can see here, they have their own node system where people are getting paid out. They're, they're, they're making money off of these nodes, all right? Now, it looks like the current node price is $720, all right? Now, I'm still digging into the weeds with this project, okay? But in a bull run, you don't have that much time to do research. You need to do enough research to figure out if you want to get in before these tokens take off. Here are a few of the games. They refer to them as mini games. Infinity Games helps game projects expand their reach to new users and markets with their multi-chain approach. So here's game one, Tamadama, all right? Deep Sea Diver, Creepy Flappy, Cats and Ghosts, okay? So I think there's a lot going on here. What I would really like to see them do, honestly, is to refresh this website because if you come here and you're trying to figure out what the what Infinity Games is, you just get lost. Like, honestly, this looks like, uh, you know, I'm not taking shots at the project, but I'm interested in this project. But the website could be doing the project a disservice. I, I think I hope that they are in the process of refreshing this site. OK. Because I think there's a lot of potential here. You can see here it says multi-chain is the future. It says they're running the game on a new layer two or side chain to speed up accuracy. All right. And it looks like some of the verbiage is not where it should be. All right. They talk about scalability. They talk about an NFT bridge. All right. But, you know, I'm trying to figure out what do you mean by that? Are you saying that your platform is a multi-chain nft bridge i shouldn't have to do that much thinking but because i'm technical i could assume that's what you mean but i don't know if that's what you mean all right but their flagship game is infinity angel and this is the most popular game okay but now they're more than just infinity angel similar to how Citus started out last bull run so when Citus launched at the end of last bull run they were just focused on the Citus game. Then it turned into a metaverse and it turned into a huge uh, gaming studio. All right. And I think they've got like dozens of games in the pipeline for Citus. So it looks like Infinity Games is doing something similar. All right. So, yeah, I would like to see a refresh uh, where where the website is more specific. Right. And detailed. Because right now, I think there's there's much, much more that could be done here. If I was looking at this project, this site, and I just looked up here at this part here, I might already lose interest. But if you take a look at their timeline here, you can see here it says uh, Infinity Game Games 3.0, ZK Rollup Integration and layer two so they're working on a zk roll up and layer two chain okay and then they're going to launch their isg token all right so it looks like they have big plans they got big partners i took a look at these partners you got polygon studios you got nftb you know i'm bullish on nftb they're launching their own zk evm chain as well all right chain link dwf labs you guys know them all right they are investing in some of the hottest projects that are probably in your portfolio you know um let's see mars 4 uh ton um what else sin city uh a lot of different projects they're even investing in brc20 projects okay so you know uh, projects that dwf labs is investing in you know i always give them a look okay now, it looks like they have upcoming games here. Immortal Wars, Aqua, PNIX, Guns, The Duel, uh, Eureka, 3M City. All right. And you can see a trailer here of their 
uh, flagship game, but this is Infinity Angel. So this is a game that's been out for a while. Okay. So this game, I could totally see people playing this. Totally. You got kind of the slasher shooter type vibe going on, you know? So I think that there is potential here. If you check out the chart, you've got a total supply of 5 billion tokens and uh, $400 per 1 million tokens trading at 0 0.004 fully diluted valuation of $2 million. Okay. So that's the fully diluted. Okay. Um, yeah, they should also update their tokenomics here on coin gecko. All right. Now, if you take a look at the coin market cap, which I have on a different screen, the actual market cap right now is $340,000. So you're about a three X away from $1 million in market cap. Yeah, yeah. So this is a, a low cap gaming gem uh, it, and it's a gaming studio. It's a gaming platform. This is an infrastructure gaming play. OK, so you might want to uh, check this out if you're interested in gaming infrastructure plays that haven't taken off yet. But again, these are high risk, high reward. Totally. All right. So. You can see it launched October 2022 at around six cents, and it's just been in the dumps ever since. All right. So if we were to get back to four cents from here, that's a hundred X. That is a hundred X on your investment. Yeah, totally, totally. So you guys check them out. If you're interested, you can grab this from Gate and Max C. I totally think that this is a low cap gem and it has a lot of potential. Could it hit four cents? Totally possible if the market agrees that this project is undervalued. But as I mentioned before, I think that as we progress through this bull run, uh, a lot of projects like this, once they start dropping alpha, maybe they refresh their website, right? I think that will bring uh, investor hype back to this project. All right. You can check out their Twitter. They've only got 11.2 thousand followers, but you can see back in February, they got investment funding from uh, DWF labs. All right. So they got funding earlier this year. Okay. So their last post was November 20th. So I'd like to see them, uh, you know, post more frequently to let the investors know that this project is still active and even potential investors. All right. It says the first ZK on chain game on BNB chain. So that is infinity square. I guess this is another one of their games. All right, guys. So check out infinity games. I think it's a low cap gym. I mean, it just needs to 3x and you'll be at a million dollar market cap. I mean, nowadays cryptos are hitting five million dollar market caps like that. This is the kind of token you could buy it and it'll 10x in the next couple days or weeks. I mean, I've covered so many gaming projects on my channel the past few weeks. A lot of them have done 10 to 20 X's over the past few weeks. So will Infinity Games do the same at some point? I think it's totally possible. All right, guys. So that is Infinity Games. Next up, we have Artifact. Now, Artifact was a project that I was tracking for quite a while, and it kind of fell off my radar because I was waiting for them to get listed on exchanges. So just recently, uh, their token got listed on Mex C. And I think it's one that you should put on your radar. All right. And I'll go into why just in just a little bit. All right. So you can see here, we take a look at the trailer. You got kind of this uh, cyberpunk vibe going on, you know, 
little uh, player versus player action. Customize your own characters. Use vehicles. That looks AAA as far as those graphics. That's pretty cool. Yeah, you got the uh, you got the Fortnite vibe going on. The metaverse situation, you know. Yeah, you guys might want to keep this one on your radar. All right. Now, getting into the description of what Artifact is, Artifact is the next generation gaming metaverse with integrated innovative GameFi activities. Artifact users are able to play AAA GameFi games and earn Arty, the Arty token. All right. Buy and trade game assets as NFTs, as well as attend virtual events such as concerts, NFT exhibitions, runway shows and esports tournaments all right so you're going to be, be able to do multiple things inside of this metaverse kind of like compete if you will all right so inside of this metaverse you got different game modes you can uh you know enhance your character's abilities attend virtual events uh looks like you can buy or build or create armored vehicles custom shoes sneakers jetpacks unique weapons then they get into the game modes deathmatch team deathmatch battle royale and control all right so tokenomics you only got 25 million tokens 25 million tokens so the numbers that this rd token can hit throughout this bull run are absolutely insane if you ask me i mean 25 million tokens it's crazy, all right? So you can see some of the partners and investors, BNB Chain, OKX, um, let's see, uh, Blockchain Life, uh, Epic Games, all right? Not sure if that means that there is a Epic Games released uh, down the road, but that would be that would be pretty cool, all right? You can see the RD comparison, fully diluted market cap. You got 7.5 million. Sandbox, 2.1 billion. Um, Decentraland is 1.4 billion. Axe is 2.2 billion. All right, so they're comparing themselves to these three projects. So if RD were to get to just, you know, 25% of Sandbox's market cap, that would be an insane token price. So here you can see the team members are doxxed, all right? You guys can check this out when you get a chance, okay? If you see the coin gecko, you can see it's trading for about $2.16 per token at the time of this video, all right? It is a BNB chain token, and it is currently trading on OKX, KuCoin, Bybit, BitGet, Gate, and it's trading on MEXC. All right, so that is Artifact. Moving on. Moving on to Gala Music. Now, you guys know that I am bullish on Gala Music, all right? And I would even dare to say that the value proposition uh, in Gala Music is greater than Gala Games, as far as the token anyway. I do think that you will get gains by investing in the gala games token however you have the gala music token that just dropped and it's trading at about a 15 million dollar market cap total supply of a billion tokens all right now recently we did just see a move from around 15 cents up to 40 cents and then a sell-off i guess people took profits and now we're back at around 15 cents I do think that this will be one to watch as we proceed into the bull run and the music narrative picks up the whole entertainment narrative. I do believe that there will be a uh, a part of the bull run where this narrative runs. And I'm also tracking the gala film token to be launched at some point as well. I need to double check that, but I'm pretty sure they're launching a gala film token. All right. So. I'm expecting the Gala Music token to do well because Gala Games is a success 
and they are putting a lot into these other two uh, companies of theirs, which is Gala Music and Gala Film. So I think it's a steal. Now, what you're watching right now is a trailer from about, uh, I think it was around four or five months ago. They dropped this round right about there. Yeah. So very interesting stuff. You guys should check out this trailer when you get a chance. It's on the Gala Music YouTube channel. And they talk about, um, you know, their plans with Gala Music. All right. Especially how it's going to tie into other streaming platforms, which is very interesting. Uh, I think that this is a sleeping giant. And, you know, I am you know definitely speculating on this, but I do think that this token is going to have a heck of a run as we proceed into the bull run. So you can see here, we're actually trading at a $10 million market cap at the time of this recording. Okay, so we're down a little bit from the last time I covered it. All right. But I do think that this is <laughs> this is a crazy opportunity. Uh, it, do not fade Gala Music. I do th think that this project has 50 to 100 X potential. I think this is a 50 to 100 X token. I think this will be the number one music token and it will give Audius a run for its money. All right. Again, Gala Music, brand new token, never had a bull run. And I think that this is a generational buy if you get in on this particular project. And it's just getting listed on more and more exchanges every time I come to their coin market cap they're listed on a new exchange all right so when i first covered this i think gala music was just on uniswap and gate.io so look how many more exchanges have bought this token it's on huobi i think htx is huobi yeah xt.com coin store and bilixi and probit all right so Gala Music is definitely a 100x potential token, right? And project. I see no reason it won't reach a $1 billion valuation. All right. That would be 100x from here as far as the market cap. Assuming the tokenomics remain the same, regardless, I think that this token has the potential to bring you massive, insane, sick, juicy returns. All right. Yeah, I'm super bullish on Gala Games. And right now is a good time to add on the dip because I think this price point of 10 to 15 cents is a temporary, if not a local floor. And if it were to dump below that, I would be looking to add to my bag. All right. Right now, it's right where I bought it. So, you know, it had a pump up to around 30, 40 cents. But I, I didn't sell because, uh, you know, this is a long term hold for me. All right. This is an investment you hold throughout the cycle. All right. And you take profits and you sell when you deem necessary. All right. But I'm definitely bullish on Gala Music and uh, you guys check it out if you're not plugged in. All right. I think this is a sleeping giant and I don't want to just have gaming cryptos in my portfolio and, and uh, you know, layer ones and layer twos. I like to speculate into some other, you know, sectors as well, but that's just me. All right. So Gala Music, definitely bullish on it. Looks like a good dip buying opportunity. And maybe we get lucky and get lower prices on this token before it truly explodes. And then it's just another opportunity missed. All right. Moving on to meme tokens all right meme tokens and some of the uh lower cap more high risk plays that i covered recently and some newer ones this one just hit my radar it hit my radar when it was around one to two million dollar market cap and i faded it this is basically a meme token dedicated to the founder of caspa all right now if you're bullish on Casper, smash up the likes. 
All right, so this token is not on the Caspa blockchain, right? It was created on Solana, okay? So um, I think that's one of the reasons I faded it because I actually thought it was originally on Caspa, but I did some more research and I faded it. And I probably shouldn't have done that <laughs> because if you take a look, it ran from like a $2 million market cap up to like a $40 million market cap. It had a crazy, insane pump, all right? Yeah, crazy, insane pump. So congrats to everybody who got in on that. You know, um, will it continue to push? I'm not sure. It's crypto. It's a meme token. Anything is possible. But this might be one to add to your radar if you're bullish on Caspa and you like new meme coins that could potentially go to a billion dollar market cap if this went to a billion dollar market cap that would be approximately a 50x on your money yeah so check out yotoshi if you are interested it is a solana token and you can grab it on radium so just send some solana to your phantom wallet go to radium and grab some if you want to grab some all right now moving on omni cat now omni cat is a very interesting one because i covered this one last week right around here and omni cat went on to do crazy axes it did like a 10 or 15 x all right so it's struggling right now it's correcting it's probably going back to earth all right <laughs> yeah but um congrats to everybody who got in on this will this continue to run i'm not sure but uh hopefully you guys took profits on this um i don't know that this will get to a billion dollar market cap but that's the thing with memes you just never know so you take profits on the way up and you don't invest your whole life savings in these things all right so i thought that omnicat would would kind of just fall off here but it fell off and then it pumped again and now it's coming back down to test this zone so question is will it bounce from here i'm not sure we'll have to see all right but i'm not in this i'm no longer in this um but that could be a zone uh you you could look to get in on this if you have a appetite for high risk uh meme tokens all right and that is also on solana okay congrats to everybody who made gains on that one now um doo -doo -doo -doo. oh you know what I had this one mixed up with Popcat. <laughs> it's too many cat me cat meme tokens going on right now. So Omnicat is the one that I, I sent out a signal for yesterday. Yeah, that's right. That's right. This is the one I sent out a signal for yesterday at around a three million dollar market cap. And then it went on and did a 10x overnight. So my patrons who got in on this one, they made fast money on this one. All right. I don't do meme coins that often these days but that was an insane pump and then at around a 10 million dollar market cap I, originally i sent out the signal at around three million dollars in market cap right and then um at around a 10 million or nine million dollar market cap i dropped this in the d5 moneyverse telegram group and they made money too so congrats to everybody there who got in on this one you know that's why it's worth it to be part of the DeFi money verse telegram group because i drop a gem in there every now and then absolutely free all right so where this will go from here i'm not sure all right but moving on uh already zk now already zk is struggling as far as the chart okay uh you guys know i'm bullish on this project i think it has potential but the chart is holding this seems to be some type of uh some type of support area here all right seems to be some type of support all right we came down to the bottom of this box and wicked back up now we're back in this box so we'll have to see if this 
support holds at the point double oh one. All right. Uh, but this is definitely uh, high risk, high reward play. But should this get listed on exchanges, I think that this would absolutely fly. You only have a billion tokens and a two million dollar market cap. But again, this is definitely a high risk, high reward play. All right. Now, if you don't know what this is, this is a multi chain bridge for BRC 20 assets uh, from 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 BRC 20 to Ethereum to Solana and some other chains to come using ZK technology. So private transactions. Now, I did read that these guys are also working on a wallet and some other things. I think a swap is in development as well. All right. So let's check out their site right quick because they've made some some uh, some changes here. They upgraded their site. If you enter the DAP, you can see they have their uh, send, swap, and bridge. So you can you can send ETH and SOL to Bitcoin, BRC20, and vice versa into your destination wallet address, for example. And they just opened up staking as well, all right? so. So sometimes when uh, these projects do staking, it impacts the price, sometimes positively, sometimes negatively. All right. So we'll just have to see what time does. All right. This is a uh, small investment for me at this point in time. All right. But uh, I would really like to see Ordi ZK get on an exchange, maybe gate, maybe max C. That would be awesome and definitely bring more exposure to this particular project. All right. More games, more and more games. All right. So more games. What's going on here? So you can see here on the two hour. We're right at some type of support. All right. We're right at some type of support. Uh, it's been holding since end of November. OK, so this is a support zone that's been holding for that long. Um, I expect it to continue to hold um, as long as people <laughs> don't sell. Right. But, um, you know, this is a high risk, high reward gaming play. Um, I would like to see more transparency in the team. All right. Because I think that that is what uh, that is one thing that is affecting this project is the lack of transparency maybe some type of video interview or uh you know twitter spaces or something something live um so we could talk or hear the actual uh, team members discussing the project and their plans all right um they're definitely in this day and age when it comes to gaming projects transparency really helps the project connect with potential investors because if i check out their twitter i can see a lot of things going on i see a lot of action all right there appears to be a lot of development going on right but i would like to see real people i want to see real people you know i think if they were to do that uh the you know the games look awesome you know you got a fps here awesome fps they're working on but um you know we're missing live people we're missing live people all right so i would like to see um you know some interviews from the the developers and the founders of this project i think that would definitely increase investor confidence in this token because you can get um, you know, numerous people to cover this project. All right. But, you know, when there's a lack of transparency, uh, it definitely impacts the uh, the token price and how people view the project. All right. So I'm still bullish on Mora and what they can potentially create as far as a gaming platform you know if you try to put them in a box with miria and uh, beam and uh, playable games you know it's one of the things i really like about playable games is they are super transparent and it's one of the reasons i invested in them way 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 back then before 
they even got on uh maxi but um you know transparency in the gaming space is is definitely vital look at citus i mean just go down the line with all the su successful gaming projects you know so i think the lack of transparency is impacting this project now, i'm not trying to spread fud or anything because you guys know i'm bullish on more and what they're doing and i am invested in more games but i would like to see more transparency okay so that's more games i'm expecting this price floor to hold of about 0.005 all right because if that doesn't hold then we would have more downside all right so uh so that's more games all right now popcat popcat is the one that i covered last week and it just went parabolic absolutely parabolic yeah, congrats to everybody's gains on Popcat. All right. Like I said, last week I covered Popcat. It was around here at 0 0.003. And it went on to do a 15x. That's insane. Now it's coming back down to earth. All right. Um, looks like it might try to make another push higher. We'll have to see, but I am no longer in this but people are still aping into Popcat. You know, Solana right now is the best chain to be on for meme tokens, right? And it really feels like this cycle, uh, Solana truly is the Ethereum of this cycle, all right? So, so it's really cool to see that, you know, all that activity on Solana chain Right now, Solana even has um, they even have soul maps similar to bitmaps on Bitcoin. So um, they just had a mint uh, a few days ago. I tried to catch the mint, but it was too late. But you can grab those soul maps on Magic Eden if you're interested. All right. Now, Neon EVM, Neon EVM is doing some amazing things here. All right. Now, they recently just got listed on Crypto.com Exchange. That is so, so bullish. So, so bullish. Very, very bullish. Real bullish. All right. So, Neon EVM making moves, getting listed on more exchanges. You know, I love to see when a project is taking the steps to get listed on more exchanges. That's more visibility, more eyes on the project more eyes on the tech and more eyes on what neon evm is doing so so this is really good to see uh you can see here on the seven day we've created a nice floor here of around 113 so for me that that would be 113 to 127 should serve as the floor for right now uh before we push higher towards the uh you know 250 to the five dollar zone which i think is totally possible all right based on cmc we're still at a hundred dollar market cap uh, correction 91 million dollar market cap yes 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 so uh, we're a 10x away from a billion dollar market cap which will put these tokens at around 15 to 16 dollars really really cool to see and really cool to be part of something uh such as special as neon evm from the beginning when a lot of other people faded it uh for whatever reason and you know you're gonna have projects like that that uh people just fade because maybe nobody's talking about it maybe the trading volume is low you know sometimes those are true gems and sometimes it's like that for a reason you know but um Neon EVM definitely catch a lot of people by surprise who were not plugged in. But if you were plugged into Neon EVM, then you knew what was going on. All right. Now, before I break off, Parallel Chain. Parallel Chain, Parallel Chain. Now, Parallel Chain is holding at around 16 cents. It's trading at a $5 million market cap. This is insane. I think a lot of people are kind of turned off by the tokenomics but not me because this is the bull run and in a bull run tokenomics they don't matter as much 
as people think but that depends that that depends on you know how aggressive the token release schedule is i'm not really worried about the emission rate on the uh the tokens all right now last time i did check in with them they were working on their web wallet yeah they were working on their web wallet all right yeah so it says here on the 22nd they just released this tweet experience browser extension beta testing results are out after 80 plus applicants 50 testers and 100 pieces of feedback we have gained valuable insights into key function functionalities and user experience improvements all right so they're developing their browser wallet the browser extension and that will be really cool that will be really cool because if i'm not mistaken it will be evm compatible all right so this is for me this is an investment you know there's there's not a lot of people uh talking about it at this time uh, but sometimes i like to be early and sometimes when you're early it's like that until the token explodes you know so this is the one uh, technology I was telling you guys about the other day, their voice based age estimation estimation solution uh, in their uh, in its uh, beta release. So this technology uh, allows um, allows you to determine a person's age based on their voice, the sound of their voice. All right. Now, Parallel Chain has patents. All right. Um, they're into biometrics artificial intelligence uh real world assets supply chain management um you know their their b2b their business to business type model transitioning companies into the web3 space uh they've got insane partnerships i'm gonna do another deep dive into parallel chain soon all right very very soon uh, but yeah, this is definitely investment for me and I'm holding this for the long run because it is one crypto that has massive potential, but has yet to join the rest of this bull run. I mean, I could see a situation where parallel chain just, just explodes. There's going to be some piece of news or there's some catalyst. This token is going to explode. Maybe they start doing something with BRC 20 tokens or the whole BRC 20 protocol down the road or something. Not sure what that will be, but the possibilities are endless with, uh, you know, a lot of these projects from parallel chain to neon EVM to your Caspas. You know, you get in early on them and that's when you make your bets. Not later when they do a 10 X. Now you're late. <laughs> after the market said oh yeah this project is hot uh yeah by that time you're late to the party you know and uh it tends to go like that in crypto in most cases all right guys so that's just my opinion you know this is one that is also a darling of my channel it's parallel chain until further notice all right and you could grab this on kucoin 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 <laughs> if you are interested all right guys all right guys that is about it for me hope you guys enjoyed this video we powered through it and i hope you guys are enjoying your long holiday weekend if you are taking holidays all right all right guys till next time deuce crypto out